really bad timing today. WDS News Morgan Lynch joins us live at noon with the impact that this had on storm preparations and could potentially continue to have Morgan. Yeah, Christina, so when we got here about 30 minutes ago, this road next to me was just a full line of traffic as people were waiting for that bridge to reopen. And I'm told that the issue was actually with those barricades that come down when the bridge is up. They were stuck in that spot and have since been repaired. And so now there is not an issue. The DOTD got that mechanical problem under control just a little bit before noon. And as you can see, fishermen are now uh, heading out towards Shell Beach to get their property to bring it in before Hurricane Zeta gets here. And uh, Parish President Guy McGinnis says he's just really thankful that this problem was fixed so quickly because he says this is an ongoing problem and it can be honestly a dangerous situation whether there's a storm coming or not. It's an ongoing problem. Last week it went out two or three times and now it went out during the storm. It's a very unsafe situation whenever that happens. If someone has a heart attack or is, needs uh, EMTs or if there's a shooting, if there's a boating accident, we need to be able to get across this bridge. And so you're taking another live look at a very busy Wyklosky, Wyklosky, excuse me, I can't say it, uh, bridge right now. Just so you know, an important note, this is only going to be open to vehicular traffic until after the storm has passed. So no um, Mariner traffic will be able to get through. We'll continue to keep you updated for now reporting live in St. Bernard Parish and Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.